Hello everyone, before we start this video, a quick mention of a new fundraiser for a volunteer, Sanaf, who has been helping Ukraine's 44th separate rifle battalion since the start of the war, and has raised a lot of money and sent a lot of supplies including trucks, generators and sleeping bags to them. Sanaf is currently raising money for a Mitsubishi Peugeot, a Mavic drone and three monoculars for the battalion. Any help would be greatly appreciated. So I have more destruction of Russian artillery systems here, a pair of 2S1 artillery howitzers in different locations. The first clip, a 2S1 is in the tree line when it's hit by Ukrainian artillery or a single GMLRS rocket from HIMARS. As a bonus, not only is the 2S1 hit, but the ammo is ignited too, making this strike all the more important. As is usual with these types of videos that we see, it's an extremely accurate one-shot KO on the position. This was geolocated to be here, the 2S1 located in the tree line facing west. Zoomed out we can see that this is east of Klischivka, an important area as it's where Ukraine is launching one of its counter offensives around Bakhmut. Here's the rangefinder tool on deep states showing that a 2S1 position here can easily cover the area of the counter offensive. The next video we have yet another 2S1. This 2S1 looks to be abandoned as its hatches are open, but nonetheless, it's hit by Ukrainian artillery and towards the end of the video we see that it's been set on fire. Despite possibly being abandoned, it is always good to fully destroy these to stop Russia recovering and repairing them, which we have been doing in the past. I'm not sure why this was abandoned initially. It could be that it came under artillery or FPV drone fire and the crew fled, or even that it just broke down and the decision was made to leave it and recover it later. This is here, not far from the one which was targeted in the first video. If we zoom out, again, you can see that this would be targeting Ukrainian forces around Klischivka. Here's the location of Klischivka, on the eastern front just south of Bakhmut. Ukraine is currently advancing slowly but surely towards the town. Up on Oryx, 62 S1s have been listed so far. Russia had 230 of these in service last year. So that's it for this video, a very important strike here, picking away at Russia's artillery systems. We've lost a large number of systems around Bakhmut in recent days, including these 2 S1s, Grads and a 2 S5, many of which I've covered on videos either released or set to be released soon. So if you liked this video, please click like and subscribe. I'd appreciate it. Thanks again, and take care everybody.